All right, so linear regression. Today I'm going to show you a couple different things that your graphing calculators can do um, in terms of linear regression and this example that we did here with temperature and ice cream sales. So if you recall, we had our temperature and ice cream sales, and then we said it was a strong positive correlation. We were given a graph of it. We filled out this giant chart, and then we had these crazy equations to come up with the equation of the linear regression and then also our hour value. And so our slope said that we earned $30 for every one degree in Celsius that the temperature rose. Um, very strong positive correlation. So what we're going to do today is make our calculator do the work for us. So on your calculator, um, what you should notice is that there's a button that's called the stat button. So again, this is a lot of statistics that we're dealing with here. So if you push the stat button, we want to enter these two lists into our calculator so that it can do all of this work for us. So now we want to edit a list. So hit enter. Um, if you notice on my calculator, the lists are empty. That might not always be the case. You might have stuff in there and have to clear it out. I'll show you how to do that here um, later on in the video. But we want to enter these lists. So it's quite simple. You just type in the number and hit enter. And so you're going to go all the way down the list and type in the numbers. Make sure you don't miss any, don't mess them up. Um, so it's really important that you're careful when you're entering the numbers and not to do them wrong. So I'm going to do that here real quick. Oops, see, I forgot the point. Okay. Okay, and then to enter our second list, I'm just going to hit the right arrow button, and now I'm in list two, and I need to enter all of my Y values. I'm going to accidentally forget to um, enter this number 544 and skip over it and do 421. Okay, so what you should notice is that my entries don't line up. So this one's one short. Aw, oh, man, I forgot one, and it's right there. So what you can do is you can actually just scroll up. Um, underneath the 614 is where I need to enter a number. A number. And so this INS button right there is the insert, but it's blue, so you have to hit second, insert. And then it creates a space there where you can insert a number. So I'm going to type in the 544 and hit enter, and now my data is all lined up. Okay, so I have both my X and my Y values entered into the calculator. If you hit second quit and get out of that list, you're back in calculator mode, and it did not disappear. It's still in there. If you go back to stat, edit, see, there they are. They're still in there. Okay, um, now what we need to do is we need to calculate the linear regression equation. If you hit the stat button again, this time we want to go over to the calculate option. So we're going to hit the right arrow button to calculate. And then it gives you this nice long menu of really confusing things. Um, but number four should look kind of familiar. Lin reg and then ax plus b, that's linear regression. And then this is like your y equals mx plus b. So if you scroll down to number four or just hit the number four, if your calculator is newer, it will give you this option. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like on an older calculator later on in the video. Um, basically, it's saying, what is my X variable? Where are you pulling your X variables from? Well, list one, that's where we just entered our temperatures. The Y list is list two, that's where we just entered our ice cream sales. Frequency list, don't worry about that. Store reg EQ, I'll go over that in a minute. And then calculate. So you want to scroll all the way down to calculate. And then your calculator basically just does this whole entire chart for you. And notice it said that our slope, 30.087, um, and then our y-intercept, negative 159.47. This is what we calculated. So we rounded a little bit, and our numbers are a little bit off, but your calculator did not round. So this is the more precise answer. And it also did it in a snap, OK? We had to get baffled, uh, calculate, calculate, calculate. Um, but so that's kind of a really cool option that your calculator does. Notice, however, that there's no R value, and we had to use that fancy equation to find our R value. If it doesn't come up with the R value right away, there's a way to get that on your calculator. The catalog down here is the zero button. <laughs> so hit second catalog, 
And this basically tells you every function that your calculator can do. You want to scroll all the way down until you see an option that says diagnostics. And you want to turn it on. Okay, so diagnostics on, hit enter. And then your calculator is like, is this what you want to do? So you hit enter one more time and be like, yes. And then it's like, done, did it. But now what you need to do is go back through that process to find the linear regression equation, which is stat calc number four. Okay, you're going to do that a lot. That's basically the main thing you need to get out of this video. Stat, go over to calc number four. Stat calc number four. Stat calc number four. Okay, and then go all the way down to calculate again. Hit enter. This time, your calculator gives you an R squared and an R value. Don't worry about R squared, that's more statistics. Um, but your R value, 0 0.957, there it is. Okay, again, in a second, we got all this work that we took like two days in class to do. So, that's what you need to be able to do on your own with a graphing calculator. You need to be able to input a list of data, you need to be able to do stat calc number four, get the y equals m x plus b, and then tell me the r value. So those are the things you need to be able to do. I'm now going to show you a couple other things that your calculator can do that are pretty cool. So we still have those lists entered. If we hit stat calc number four, down here where it says store reg eq, that's the regression equation. Basically, I can store that equation in my calculator and it'll graph the scatter plot kind of like we saw all over here. And then it actually graphs the line through those points. So what you're going to hit here is basically where you're storing it. So vars is this button right here next to clear. You want to hit the vars button and then scroll over to y vars, y variables. Function, yes this is a function and then we're going to store it just in the Y1 slot. Hit enter, okay, and then we're going to hit enter one more time. So it looks like nothing new has happened. We still just have our equation and our R value, but what your calculator just did in the background was if you hit that Y equals button, it's storing that linear regression equation in your Y1 option. Okay, so if you were to hit the graph button, you would see that line, but we're not going to hit that yet. We also want to graph the scatter plot of this data. So we want to get this picture on our calculator. So up there where it says plot one, we want to go to the stat plot. So second stat plot right there. You can hit that button or you can just scroll up here and turn it on, but um, go to second stat plot. So we just want to de deal with the first one, hit enter, and we need to turn it on, hit enter. This option type, basically we're going to do a scatter plot. That's the first option. Your x variable is pulling from list 1, that's where we entered our temperatures. Your y variable is pulling from list 2, that's where we entered our ice cream sales. The mark is just literally what it's going to plot, you can choose that yourself. And then the color for the line, make it whatever you want. Um, I could scroll and turn it magenta if I wanted to. Okay. Um, so now, rather than hitting the graph button, again, since we're dealing more along the lines of statistics and it's a scatter plot, we don't just want like a normal x, y coordinate plane. So if you hit the zoom button right there at the top middle, um, number nine is zoom stat. So that's basically for a stat plot. A lot of these should line up. So stat, 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 okay? So hit number nine, and then look. There's our scatter plot. It should look almost identical to what we have here on our paper, except this time we have our linear regression equation also graphed through the line. Neat, huh? Um, so again, if you're collecting data, which we're going to do an example of when you return to class um, on Tuesday, and we'll actually do this process again, and we'll graph our scatter plot. Um, so pretty neat. I now want to show you something else. Um, on an older calculator, if you don't have one of the fancier or colorful ones, this does the exact same thing. Um, and so I'm going to use a different example here as well. This is sales of an Italian clothing company, and then this is their advertising budget. So this is how much they spend in advertising in millions and euros, right? It's an Italian clothing company. And then this is how much they sell in millions of euros.
Okay, so they spend 23 million euros in advertising, they make 651 million euros. So again, here's another example. This is what I expect you to be able to do. Hit your stat button, go over to cap, or just kidding, edit. Oh no, there's stuff in my list, so I need to clear it. So if you need to clear a list, you go all the way up to the top where it says list two, hit the clear button, and then hit enter. Do not hit the delete button. Uh, let me show you what happens if you hit delete. If you go all the way to the top and hit delete, it literally eliminated list two. And we don't want list two to be gone. Um, so how to get list two back, again, don't panic if you do. Um, you want to insert a list back in there. So second, insert, and then it creates a spot for the list. And you just need to name it. So notice down here, number two above it has an L2. So if you hit second, L2, bam, it's back. Okay. Um, L1, we want to need to clear, enter. So now my lists are empty and I can enter my data. If we were to think about this in terms of X and Y, which one would be the independent variable, which one would be dependent? Um, well, our sales would most likely depend on the amount of advertising that we do. Okay, so this might directly correlate with how this is affecting it. So our advertising is going to be our x variable and our sales is going to be y. So in our list 1 we want to enter the x. So we've got 23, 26, 26. and then go over and enter your data in list 2, your sales, And voila, okay? And then this is what I expect you to be able to do. Enter your data, and then hit the stat button, calc number four, okay? But on this calculator, it looks different. There's no uh, store reggae Q or list, 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 anything like that. It's just telling you linear regression, AX plus B. Hit enter, and then it still does the same thing, okay? It just doesn't give you as many options. So our slope is 23.42. So for every $1 million in euros spent, our sales are going to increase by 23.4 million dollars euros. Um, and then our y-intercept, 167 million euros, is what we would make if we had no advertising. So only 167 million euros compared to what we could make if we were adver spending a little bit on advertising. Notice our R value, R, R value, 0.988. That's a very strong positive correlation. So basically what that's saying is um, as our advertising amount is increasing, so are our sales. So we want to continue spending money to advertise because it's working. Okay, that's what I expect you to be able to do. Again, Finding the scatter plot and creating that is a little bit of bonus material. So on this older calculator, if you wanted to do that, it would be stat, calc, number four. But then you need to tell it where you're storing that equation. So you'd have to hit the right away. Don't type in anything else. Don't hit enter. You have to hit vars. Go over to y vars. Enter, enter, enter. Okay, so again, it calculates. But if you notice, now that equation is stored in y1. We would turn on our scatter plot, so second stat plot on. This one's not as fancy, you can't choose colors and whatnot, but it is pulling from list one and list two. I'm gonna zoom, scroll down to number nine. That's our stat, hit enter, and then there's the scatter plot of our advertising and our sales. And then the linear regression equation going through the points. Okay, that's what you should be able to do on your own after hopefully watching all of this video. Um, have a great day.